Today we're going to be finding top dead center on this 1984 Datsun. It's equipped with a Z24 uh, engine. And to do that, what we're going to do today, um, we're going to pull the number one spark plug, pull that out, <clears throat> and we're going to use a um, thumb activated ignition um, starter jumper. And we're going to spin this motor over slowly until we find top dead center on the compression stroke. Um, and when that occurs, we'll get a puff of air out of this uh, spark plug hole. Okay, at this point you should have your, your uh, truck either in neutral or park with a parking brake on. Um, this is a stick shift, it's in neutral. It's on some plastic uh, service ramps. So we have our, let's see, you can get this to focus. All right, let's see, that's our number one spark plug. This is on the exhaust side. This engine has two spark plugs per cylinder. Um, intake or exhaust is okay. Um, exhaust on this particular engine is the easiest to access. Um, so we have our thumb button to activate the starter with. Um, you hook it to your starter um, solenoid wire. Let's see, it's down there. Next to there, you kind of see it there. And you gotta be very careful not to bump anything. Um, uh, you only want to go on to the wire that activates that starter solenoid. Alright, so uh, we'll see if we can set this down um, and get some live action going here. Let's see. Uh, where can we put this puppy at right here? Let's try that out. Alright, guys. Alright, truck's in neutral. Parking brakes on, the ignition is off. And we're not trying to crank the truck up, we're just trying to find top dead center. All right, so we're gonna put our hand down in here, the spark plug hole, and I'm just gonna lightly bump this button until we feel some compression. All right, guys, you hear that? That would be our compression. All right, so now what we want to do, um, we're going to find the harmonic balancer pointer. Man, that is almost on the money. All right, let's see if we can focus. Get this camera down. Ooh, bright action here. Let's see here. Um, see, man, there is not a lot of room to work in this little guy here. All right, let's see. We, uh, there's a pointer on the timing cover and there's going to be a mark on our harmonic balancer hey there we go zoom in see that little yellow dot guys let's see that is our I'll focus around all right let's see here that little dot is right on the second point that's our top dead center mark now we're going to rotate this engine over until that dot is on the far right which is going to be zero degrees top dead center on the compression stroke all right guys we got the pointer on zero degrees top dead center um, and you i don't know if we'll be able to see this on camera probably not just because it's it's a little gonna be a little hard to see but i doubt i can get the lighting correct for this um some people I've heard friends included have they'll stick a screwdriver down in the spark plug hole. Um, there you go. You can see the top of the piston there. Got a little carbon on it, but this is a 35 year old truck. Um, and roll the motor over slowly with a screwdriver and watch it till it pushes up. That's fine if it's your personal engine. This one is, I don't like that method, especially working on high-end, high-performance engines. You don't want to nick the uh, coating on the top of the piston um, or mess threads up. Um, so that you can do at your own risk. I personally, you can use a zip tie, this plastic, that's, that's more suitable. Um, don't want to do it on a high-end engine and um, accidentally uh, nick a piston or damage the spark plug threads or get the screwdriver jammed in the hole because you're trying to spin this engine over uh, by hand with a 
with a uh, either a wrench or socket and ratchet. I actually, this engine for me is hard to get to the damp dampener, so I actually use the power steering nut here that holds the pulley on. I just put a wrench on that guy and uh, you know, just like so, and then just you know spin it over till it's the top dead center. And that's how you do top dead center on the Nissan Z24. This also will be the same for other engines. Um, this is a four cylinder, so number one is gonna be the very first um, piston here. Um, this same for V8, V6. Um, on the V6 and V8 applications, typically the furthest forward cylinder head is gonna be your um, number one uh, spark plug. Let's see if we can locate it on this puppy here. All right, it's kind of dark. Um, it's probably going to be hard to see this, but the passenger side bank, and you can kind of see it here. Passenger side bank on this engine, this is a 4.6 liter um, four valve Cobra engine. This right hand cylinder head is slightly further forward than the driver's side, making this the number one bank on the passenger side.